Ooh, baby. What you doing? 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 Oh, it's a special day today. It's a special day, yeah. We have something special to do, yeah. yeah. Where's my baby? Where's my baby? He's here. He's here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> okay, let me get up. Let me get up. Oh, oh boy. Okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> All right, well today is the day that we take the uh, camper trailer down to uh, the automotive shop and get our vehicle identification numbers, number stamped right onto our trailer. That's going to be cool. I can't wait to get that done and uh, get more mobile here so basically everything here is all uh, fastened down tight and ready to go nothing's gonna fly around or jump around or move or anything not a thing okay let's get out of here then we got to uh, <laughs> we have to uh, make sure the trailers all secure and everything and that and uh, then we hook up the truck and uh, once that's all done, we haul out of here. Perfect. Okay, let's check all this stuff out. First of all, we've got to check all the stabilizer chains on the uh, trailer here. Make sure everything's good and solid. Oh, that one's really loose. And that one's really loose too. Wow, so we got to tighten those suckers up first. Right on. Let's do it. So first of all, we have to loosen these up. There's a nut up here. And then the main stem here, loosening them up. Basically just loosen the top one anyway. Loosen that up. And then what you do is you tighten this one up. As tight as you can get it. So then when you get the uh, this chain tight, tight solid, <laughs> you see can be nice and tight and solid like that, then you can just tighten this screw down, tighten this back down and it'll keep it, uh, keep the tension on it. Uh, to, uh, make sure she's tight. And there we go, tight. All right, that one's solid. Now let's do that one. There, now this one's really snug and tight. We can just uh, tighten this nut on the top here. Make sure she's snug. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we just have three more corners to do. <laughs> so there we go. All four corners are nice and tight and secure. All of them. There we go. Now we just have to hook up the truck to the trailer and there we go. There we go, all hooked up solid and ready to haul on out of here. 
and the camper's all secured down and everything like that so uh yeah we're done here let's uh move out ciao okay then everything is locked down tight so why don't we just hit the road eh girls why don't we hit the road huh okay let's get out of here girls let's get going yeah Well, here we are. We actually made it down to uh, Chuck's Automotive here to get the vehicle identification number put on the little tiny house. I'm actually on the trailer, not the house, but on the trailer. But man, that was crazy, crazy. We're coming down the highway. I got the two tanks of propane. Coming down the... Oh, stop. Stop. <laughs> Every time. Coming down the highway there, and uh, I ran out of propane. I was just wouldn't go wouldn't go wouldn't go I pulled over to the side and so I phoned the guy at um, North End Automotive the propane guy and he says well it could be this could be that oh my god so he told me to try a couple of things and one was climbing in there trying testing the 80% valve to see if it's got any pressure um, I couldn't actually get my fingers in there to turn it but he said also the service valve if the service valve is off it's not going to get any propane to the engine and as far as I understood that when it was installed and put up and set up, you know, both tanks were on. But apparently the big one was turned off. So I had to pull everything out of my pickup truck there. You know, all those boxes and everything I got in there. I had to pull everything out and climb all the way underneath that uh, one plywood board. Get in there and check the service valve and sure enough it was shut tight. So I turned that back on and then we had 10 minutes to spare just to get down here to get the the uh, uh, vehicle identification number on the trailer so uh, wow that was crazy that was crazy oh man and I smashed my finger at the same time really bashed it up real good oh my god wow gotta get something wrapped up something wrap something around that yeah so anyway I'm just waiting for uh, the gentleman to come out and uh, tag my vehicle and uh, then we'll be on our way Right, girls? Right, girls, you noisy little cows? Yeah, 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 boy, oh boy, they're getting worse. Okay, okay, I'm going to let you go and deal with these girls and make them shut up. Ciao for now. There we go, we're getting the uh, vehicle identification number ready to go on real soon here.
And there we go. My British Columbia assigned vehicle identification number. There we are. <laughs> All mine. All mine. There we go. We are now commercial. We are now co a commercial trailer. Yeah, it feels really, really cool to have that uh, vehicle ID number on here. It makes my trailer a commercial trailer. I think that's pretty funky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So now, basically, I just have to go down to uh, motor vehicles again and uh, uh, register it as a, a commercial weight vehicle. And then uh, they're going to uh, issue me some uh, a commercial plate for the trailer. So, uh, and that's a bigger plate than the small regular pl trailer plate that's on there. So, yeah, that's just the next step there to go down and do that. So, yeah, that was cool to get another project out of the way. And uh, I know uh, now I'm uh, perfectly legal on the road. They stop me uh, on the highway and weigh me out. I'm uh, definitely not going to be weighing over. That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay, well, uh, let's go in and uh, finish up our day here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this place. You girls left this place in a mess. You left this place in a mess. Wow. You girls, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you, huh? Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What is wrong with you girls? What is wrong with you girls? Yeah, yeah. You playing with your toys all day long and making a mess and making me clean it up after I get back home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You girls are great. You girls are great. Well, that's just another day in the day in the uh, days of Bamthal, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, I guess we'll just end up seeing you in the next video, okay? <laughs> What do you think, girls? What do you think? Huh? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, all right. We'll see you later now. Ciao for now.
the first fire in my little wood stove this year. Yeah. What awesome ambience. It was actually starting to get chilly at night a little bit here and there, believe it or not. Yeah, so this is beautiful. I'll just sit here and stare at it for a while, a while, a while. 